With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let us solve this question. The question says that the most stable alkene is option A, CH2 double bond CH, CH2 CH3, option B, CH2 double bond C, CH3 CH double bond CH2. Option C, CH2 double bond CH, CH double bond CH2 and option D, CH3, CH double bond CH, CH3. So in this question, four alkenes are given. We have to find out the most stable alkene, right? So as you can see in option A and in option D, the alkenes which are given, they have only one double bond. And in option B and C, we have two double bonds which are present at the alternate positions, right? So these are the conjugated dienes always remember that the conjugated dienes are more stable than general alkenes which contain one double bond right conjugated dienes are stable and the reason behind this is resonance so they are stable due to resonance for example, let us take this alkene CH2 double bond CH, CH double bond CH2, right? So, when these pi electrons will be transferred here, this bond will break and here we get the structure CH2 negative CH double bond CH, CH2 positive, right? So, in this way, resonance can take place. So, we can say from here that A, uh, the alkene which is given in option A and option D, they will be less stable than B and C. Because in B and C, uh, B and C both are conjugated dienes. So, option A and D will be wrong. They will be less stable. Now, we will compare B and C. Basically, both are same. Just the difference is that on this carbon, we have CH3 group instead of hydrogen. Right? So, always remember that more is the substitution on the double bonded carbon atom or you can say alkene, more is the stability, right? So, more substituted, more substituted alkene is more stable, alkene is more stable because as the substitution increases, the hyperconjugation increases which provides stability. So, if we take this alkene, we have C double bond CH2 and here CH3 CH double bond CH2, right? So, if you look this carbon, adjacent to this carbon, we have this carbon, this carbon and this carbon. So, all these are alpha carbon. So, if you count the alpha hydrogen, Two alpha hydrogen are these, one is this and three is this. So, total it becomes six, right? So, this carbon has six alpha hydrogen, six alpha hydrogen. Six alpha hydrogen means for this carbon, there will be six hyperconjugating structures. So, we here we get six hyperconjugating structure for this double bond, six hyperconjugating structures will be obtained and you and if you this uh, if you see this alkene for this carbon atom for this carbon atom the adjacent carbon atom is this and this so it means this is alpha carbon this is alpha carbon so alpha hydrogen will be 2 plus 1 3 so there will be 3 hyperconjugating structure right so it will be less stable so, here this option will be wrong. The most stable will be option B. Right. So, this will be the answer CH2 double bond C, CH3, CH double bond CH2. It will be the most stable alkene due to more hyperconjugation. Therefore, answer, answer is option B. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.